so folks, today is the day. It's the final meeting of 2023 for me. I can be free so with a new car. So nothing should have been changed to the car since the last video. Put my name on the car, but that's been about it really. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm spewing, I've no managed to get it for the first tee. The ball joint that's came with the car has just gone straight over the threads and it's just making the wheel come right out. And the one that we've got here has not gone onto the threads enough. So it was time for heat two, but obviously my first race of the day in my new car. So let's see how we get on. I had dropped and I'd got a bit more wheel spin than I would have liked off the start. But coming into the first bend, the car feels absolutely terrible and I'm coming down the straight and the car's dancing all over the place. It's really hard to control. been passed by the whole field and I'm struggling to keep the car in a straight line coming out of the corners. The new car seems to have pace down the straights, it's just coming into the corner, it's really dodgy and coming out of the corner where I'm going down the straight. Coming around the pit bend there, I almost put myself into the wall. That was really weird. I was steering around the corner and it just started going towards the wall. I don't know what happened there. Again, I come round the track shop bend and the car just spins out and stalls. I just managed to roll down the hill and miss the traffic that went past me, but that's my race over. So I've just had my second heat, the first heat of my day, but um, it felt terrible. Obviously, didn't finish a race. The car stalled once I'd spun out, but we've put a powered the back axle a bit, and it's came out a bit. But it was just dancing down the straight the whole way. There's a lot of wobble on the front end as well, but just gonna have to see what happens in the final. So we've got a few names on the car now. A couple of these commented, David and Kobe. You both commented to have your name put on the car, and then we've got sub to Galloway right in the middle of the bonnet. So we've had a couple more names put on the car. There we go there. Six one two for Leon Stewart. Right. There we go. So Dylan Smart starts from the red bridge. He did win two.
So it's time for the final of the day and the final race of the season and let's just say a lot happened in this race. For this race we're also on board with the newly crowned track champion 65 Colin O'Gobey. For the race I just decided to start right at the back of the grid because I knew my car wasn't right. The green flag drops and I get a lot of wheel spin there. Colin's just up ahead and he gets a great start. No wheel spin at all and he's away. I'd lost a lot of confidence in the car since how the second heat went, so I was letting off of the throttle coming down the street a lot earlier. But I soon built it back up and I was on the pace. And just up ahead, Colin's absolutely flying and he's in a close battle with the two cars in front. At the back with me, I'm getting more confident with the car again. I'm going faster down the straights and quicker around the corner. And up ahead there's been a big incident with two cars and the tyres on the infield. At this point I didn't know how that had happened but I've got some onboard footage from one of the cars involved. <laughs> on board with the 348 car and the 64 car right behind them comes down the inside them and spins them right around and into the tyres. They both go off the track but Leo manages to get going again. He rejoins the track, but that doesn't last long because he ends up getting hit again. But not by the 64 car, by the 764 car. Somehow the car's still going and Liam keeps going around the track. He gets a final hit off the 764 and almost wipes me out as I go into the corner. As I'm coming out the corner you can see both the cars get a black flag but they still go for it and I just managed to avoid it. Up ahead with Colin, he's absolutely flying with two laps to go and he's in second place. comes across the line in second place which crowns him the new track champion. Back with me, I've got some confidence in the car again and I'm right on the tail end of this car in front.
Unfortunately, it's not enough to get in front of them, but I still managed to finish this race and I got 5th place. So overall, it's been a great day for Colin, with a win in the first heat as well. So I've just came back in for the final, managed to get the car back on the trailer and finish the race. I don't know what I got, maybe fifth or fourth or something, with all the drama that went on there. Uh, that was pretty bad, like what was happening on the track around us. I almost got hit going down the straight for both of the drivers, but um, it was unreal. Um, they're all disqualified in that, so I don't know where I finished, but it ended up being an alright day. The car's just got a lot of teething problems and I'll need to get used to it, but that's what next season's for. So folks, unfortunately, that does bring us to the end of this video and the end of the racing season. I want to say thank you to anybody that supported me or came up to me and spoke to me at the racing this year as well. It's been amazing. One thing I would like to say though is the contact over the season and especially on Sunday was unbelievable. Um, that should be happening, especially in an on-contact formula. Again, that's some of the contact there was worse than the pro stocks, but um, aye, it's not ideal. All that's going to do is push new drivers away for the formula and drivers that are in the formula already are just going to want to go into something else. But apart from that, what a season it's been. It's been a lot of fun. You can expect videos over the off season. I'm going to be fully explaining all my car. I don't know what my dad's doing with his. He's probably painting his as well. But you can still expect stock car racing videos to be coming out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this season. Please like this video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new or you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.